Hi everyone! I'm Abby and today I'm going to be showing you a really cool tutorial slash use case for a cool video automation. In this case we're going to be using Trello, Zapier and Voxel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you enjoy seeing content like this or if you have other ideas let us know as well. In this case, you guys were mentioning that you wanted to see the final result or what video we were able to generate and here's a little sneak peek of the video we're going to be doing and stay tuned because you're going to be able to see the final result of the video throughout this really cool use case. So hang in there and see you soon! So first we're going to start by setting up our trigger. In this case, after you choose your app, the event and your account, you're going to go to set up trigger. So in this case, for example, every time a card is moved from to do to ready to publish, a video is going to be created. Now under card, just select any card and of course, don't forget to test your trigger and just test anything that you do along the way, just to make sure everything is working as it should. For our second action, we have the custom request. For this one, you're just going to select webhooks by Zapier and under action event, select custom request. To set up the action, you just need to be aware of this URL and pretty much follow the information we you can see right here. In the data section, it does change up a bit because normally you would see all the raw data here, but in this case, you need to put all your raw data under your description in the Trello card. Once you have this ready, you can go back to your Zapier and right here, go ahead and select card description. Here, don't forget to put the team ID and the API authorization token. If you don't know where to find this, you'll also find the information you need in our tutorial in the description below. Of course, don't forget to test the action before going to the next one, which is delay 4. For this one, you can really choose any value or units you like. In this case, we just said 2 minutes. We went ahead and tested. And once we made sure everything was working okay, we went ahead with our last action. This is the get action. So for this one, you're just going to choose Webhooks by Zapier and with the difference being that you're going to select get under action event, you're going to press and continue and go to setup action. For this one, you just need to uh, pay attention to the URL. As you can notice, it changes at the last bit of it. And the only change is that you need to add the success code from action number two and we're just gonna go do this by clicking in the URL space go to custom request and then you just select success code here in headers uh, let's just make sure you add the headers the team the token as mentioned before you're gonna test the action as I did this beforehand I already tested everything and made sure everything was working as it should Okay, so now that you're done with your fourth action, which is get, we're going to continue to our fifth one, which is basically going to be connected to our app in Trello. And for this one, we're going to choose move card to list in action event right here and go to setup action. Here, you're just going to make sure you're selecting the correct board and the list going to be moved from to the list it's going to be moved to. We're gonna test it and close. And then we wanted the card to be automatically updated in Trello with the download link and the landing page of the actual video. So what we did was created a sixth action, which was update card in Trello. And then you have to choose your account once again. And for the setup action, select the board the list so we're gonna choose the card in this case it's the video Friday one and write the card name and then here we just said we wanted to automatically update with this data so instead of showing you the raw data that we used before under description now it's gonna show you the landing page and the download link 
and you're gonna go to test action. Uh, automatically the card was moved from ready to publish to done and published and then the description was updated as well with the landing page of the video and the download link. And many of you were asking us if we could please show the end video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I just went ahead and copy and pasted the landing URL. And this is our video. <laughs> That's all for today, my friends. If you guys have any feedback, suggestions, don't be shy and let us know in the comments down below. As you know, we love feedback. So um, make sure you let us know what your thoughts are. If you guys still have some questions left, please you know where to find us. Our support chat is available to you guys any day of the week and we're happy to help you in any way we can. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you enjoy seeing content like this or if you have other ideas, let us know as well. And that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was helpful. It was easy to follow. And I'll see you next time. Bye. And you're going to close it. And of course, oops, and you'll have it ready to go. Oops.